Okay guys, this is my EDC or everyday carry on the outside. I've got a little one litre Yellowstone bottle where you'd usually keep a sleeping bag or something like that. Um, I believe it's a 28 or 24 litre pack. Kind of like my Expedition, but I got this from an army surplus store. So it's pretty well built, nice, strong. Right, attached to the front, it's usually about here. Using Molly, just little Pro Force first aid kit. I haven't changed anything. All that's in here is five antiseptic wipes, a wound pad, a pair of disposable gloves, and we got a bandage which is 7.5 centimeters by 4.5. Pair of scissors which is pretty good. Um, used them a couple of times. They seem okay. Some micropore tape and three safety pins. Four, sorry. And some bandage, which, uh, or band aids, or plasters on a strip so you can cut it to your size that you need. Actually, pretty good. So, yeah. So, then if we go into the pack itself, in this first little small compartment, we've got in here headlamp. Actually, really bright. Uh, this is an emergency charger or a merchant battery pack for cell phones and things like that. It's actually really good. Literally unscrew the bottom here. And you got a single AA battery which charge any 5 volt USB charger. Then we got a signal mirror. Yes, yes, that is my ugly mug. Don't take the mic off. Um, some AAA batteries. They're not lithium. They're just alkaline. Uh, cheap emergency silver blanket. Actually, I think this one was two ninety nine. I'm not sure. This, yeah, this was cheap. Nine nine p. Emergency poncho keeps you dry or reasonably. Can be also used for insulation. Should I move into this pack down here? Okay. Right. We got USB hub. Is I use laptops and computers a lot, and I find they don't have enough USB ports. So we've got this one. Got cheap set of headphones. A roll of electrical tape, really, really useful. And then got a USB cable, bits and bobs. It's got the cables in there for iPhones, uh, Blackberries, anything that uses that mini USB cables. Uh, the cables in, are in here. They go with this thing. And it's actually a little 2.5 audio type jack in the top that everything plugs into we then got compass, nothing special about the compass just map reading compass, got a little magnifying glass there actually quite useful some cordage I think it's 15 20 meters anyway a pair of hand warmers these will be coming out during the summer, but at the moment it is winter. It is the 7th, no, sorry, the 9th of November, and it gets pretty cold. Especially if you're out and about, it gets wet as well, which is a bad thing. Hence why this is in there. I think got this one. This one's my accessories tin. Pop this one open. Got some super glue. Whistle lighter, little multi tool without any pliers on that one, just a cheap camping tool, cool, useful and a brand new mag block and striker pop that one to the side we then got in here we got a torch uh, a precision screwdriver with all the bits are stored in the top of that oh, a normal pen Sharpie, permanent marker, whatever you want to call it. Down there, we got four glow sticks. Just 
just because they come in handy. If you come across a hole or something that you're not too sure how deep it is, or a little hill, you snap one of them, chuck it down there. If you decide not to go down, who cares? You just lost a glow stick, not your torch or anything. Then we got a little opinel. It's nice. I like the lock on it. You got to actually turn this a bit, fold it out. I can't seem to do one handed. Being in the UK, we can't actually carry big knives like you guys in the States. You just rotate that to lock it. And I think this one's just under legal limit. I think this is two and a half inches or two and three quarters. And legal limit's three. Uh, I can actually get away with this one as well because it's not a self locking blade. You've got to physically manually lock it. Um, the guy in the to just pop this one back in there. Right, that's it for those two pouches. So if we just undo the compression straps, two on either side. And we'll open. One of the main compartments. Right, as you see, there's actually a fair bit of stuff packed into this kit at the moment. We've got some mint humbugs, just some cheap boiled cheese. I think it's a pound for a pack. Uh, good little bit of sugar to keep going. i got a couple of friends who are diabetic. Um, it's nice for them as well. Um, the one thing you'll notice about this kit is there's more stuff than I would need in it. Uh, that's because I try to take care of others. Um, I'm constantly delving into this pack to get paracetamol, ibuprofen, other things like cables to charge people's phones. And it's nice to be able to show people and be like, yeah, look. Right, so this is just a couple of mess tins. Uh, just open these handles up. A couple of dust masks. Nothing too thing, just a couple. Because I do find myself on building sites quite regularly. I am a spark, so or an electrician for people who don't understand. Um, yes, yeah, dust mask come in handy. And got, I don't know if you can read that. It's a hexamine solid fuel cooker. It's just one of those army cookers, really handy to have, and they're really small. Got a proper knife, fork, and spoon set because I hate trying to use a spark. Absolutely terrible. Um, I don't like them. I do have a little bottle opener on there as well. And just two packets. These waterproof matches. I'm not sure they're made by giving me two seconds. It's Coglins. Coglins waterproof matches. There are about 45 in there. They're safety waterproof matches. So can only be striked on the box. And somewhere in here we also have a. Everybody's seen these before, it's just a little can opener. So I have to pop that to the side. Dive back in. And here we got, at the moment, we just got a couple of, give me two seconds. Just a couple of batteries in there at the moment, a couple of AAA and a couple of AA. Um, what's usually in there is my little camera that I use, um, comes in quite handy, it's a tiny little camera. And we've got a right, little trespass, this one's made by a uh, really good shop if you ever have a chance to pop in and look at one. Um, little sports bottle, I think it's 330 mils or something like that, but you unscrew the top, fill it up, screw the top back on, you've got one of those sports caps, pull up, drink, we all used to them. And then, just in case in here, and they have been used a couple of times and replaced. A couple of wayfarers. Meals ready to eat. We got an all-day breakfast. And a pasta bolognese. Not only brilliant source of calories, but a couple of times I've found myself about lunchtime. And I've ended up with no money on me. And these, absolutely lifesaver. And the last thing we got in here is just a little 
notebook and pen. I'm not going to open the notebook because I have got some stuff written down on there, namely um, phone numbers, addresses, dates, things like that. Really good to keep an idea, and it's quite solid as well. Again, like you see, trespass. You get the pen with it. It's actually really solid plastic. Uh, and a fair few pages. I think it was only like two quid or something. Um, right, so that's that middle pocket. Just open this back pocket. This is actually um, mainly empty because this is where I carry the stuff that I need at any given time. It's got an umbrella, really cheap. I think it was a pound from uh, Poundland, Pound Stretch or something like that. And we got a hygiene kit. I'll show you the inside of this in a sec. And a schmock. Really useful. Really, really useful. Especially being on the building site. That gets so much use, it is unbelievable. Worth the four pound or something I spent on it. Most invaluable piece of kit in here. Right, and now it's our hygiene kit. Bear with me two seconds, I've got to try and open this one handed. Uh, sorry about if the video is shaky as well, because I am, this, like I said, this is my first ever video for YouTube. I think it's the first ever video I've seriously recorded with a camera. So, everything's a learning curve. Um, i just quickly show you what's in here. Oh, little flannel. And you got a little sewing kit. Really useful. These are pill containers. I'll show you what's in these in a second. We got this one's a right guard 48 hours just any cheap roll on I think I paid a pound again at a cheap pound shop got some dental floss not only for cleaning your teeth but flaming good cordage um, don't know if you've ever tried to break it with hand it's really not that easy and I'm just gonna pop this open and show you actually how much you get in a packet this sort of size uh, it's actually really really useful squeeze the sides and there it is, that entire thing it's packed solid it's about two centimeters in diameter it's really packed just pop that one closed and we got some hand sanitizer again cheap, I think it was a pound a bottle got two or three of them now but this one stays in the pack and it is alcohol based so you can use it as a fire starter lip balm need I say more and dexterous tablets really handy for a quick energy boost right so if we just have a look this is the first pot really tight and hard to open first we got paracetamol Standard 500 milligram. There we go. Some ranitidine. Sorry, loretidine. This one is, which is uh, hay fever allergies. And got ranitidine, which is heartburn, indigestion, uh, acid reflux, things like that really useful to keep on you just in case and I do suffer with pretty bad heartburn and then in here last one ibuprofen again painkiller like the paracetamol just sit down here paracetamol there the ibuprofen is painkiller but the good thing about it as well is it is um, an anti-inflammatory as well so if you suffer with joint pains and things like that ain't gonna hurt um, there's another one as well. I haven't got any in this kit, but aspirin. Um, again, it's a blood thinner, but it could be used for treatment of strokes, things like that. Um, you've got to be careful with it, but it is useful to carry. Um, it also s reduces the effects of a fever, which I didn't find out until the other day. Which I thought, again, that would be quite useful to know. Got my second one. In here, oh, so I think these are called power kicks. They're just 
I don't know if you've seen them, but they're uh, caffeine tablets. They got caffeine, glucose, things like that. Just keep going. Um, if you're tired and you're on your way to work, pop a couple of these. Bottle of water. You'll be awake in no time. And last but not least, definitely not least, definitely needed, definitely one of the best things to keep in here. Diarrhea relief. You might laugh, but when you're if you're out in the wilderness, you've got a three-day hike ahead of you, and you've managed to have a bug. Um, you don't want to be finding every tree and bush and everything to hide behind and wipe your ass with leaves and things like that. Um, not the best idea. Even if you haven't got diarrhea, these just clog work by clogging you up essentially. So, um, a great substitute for the ass blocker um, biscuits from the MREs or the ABs as we used to call them. Um, can't find them anymore but these work exactly the same. But not a nice biscuit, just a tablet. Okay, so that is absolutely everything. Um, the only other thing I'm going to show you is down in this front compartment again. I did pull it out. It's my fire kit. Quite primitive, but it's nothing thing. I'm just going to pause the video and be back. I'm just going to open it because it's wrapped in plastic, so give me two seconds. Okay, and we're back. Uh, just my fire kit. It actually took me about five minutes to open because, one, I didn't realise how much tape I put on there, and two, uh, the girlfriend was on the phone, and yeah. As so we just opened this, it is just a standard two ounce tobacco tin. Pop that to the side. We got five grams of magnesium powder. Really useful. Got some Maya dust. That's what that is, Maya dust. Brilliant stuff. Got some broken up wooden sticks for tinder. Really useful. Kapok, Kapok, or I don't know how you pronounce it, but basically, um, it seems to be like the cattails you get out in the really fluffy, like maybe a little bit more like um, cotton wool, but a really natural, really, really fast burning. So make sure you got something to catch a light with. Lighter. These are compressed wood with wax and some match tips. Really, really useful. Burn for, I think it was five minutes. No, yeah, five minutes. I did time them. It was five minutes, 20 or something. But then it was like really tiny and had nothing left. Let's see. Oh, drop one. There it is. Two tampons, loads and loads of cotton on these. No better way to pack cotton wool. If you want a fire starter. Got two normal birthday candles. Um, when I get them through, I will be replacing these with the joke ones that just won't go out. Uh, well, you can't blow them out. You can dip the tips in the water or lick your fingers and pinch the tips and they will go out, but... At the moment, just normal birthday candles. And you've got Vaseline soaked cotton balls, everybody knows them. Uh, a couple of hexamine tablets. These ones are little round ones, whereas the ones in my hexamine stove are the ones that came with it, and they're square. So these are just hexamine substitute, actually, these ones. And then you've just got another mag block and striker. I don't think this one's been used either. No, not at all. And strikers under there as well. So right guys. So right guys, um that's it for now. I will be trying to upload more pictures and videos more often of my kit. Uh please rate, comment, subscribe as usual. Um just please, 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 if you think of anything else that I can put to this kit, uh other than duct tape. I have got some duct tape, but I don't know where it's gone. Uh, I'll be hunting that down in a minute and putting that back in here. So, yeah, the only thing you don't need to list is duct tape. Um, 
I haven't got a fishing kit in here. Uh, only reason is is because where I live and where I'll be going, there is virtually nowhere to fish. Um, and if you did, I w it'd be questionable whether you wanted to eat the fish that you caught. It's not so nice. Um, right, yeah. So like I said, please rate, comment, subscribe, leave comments on anything else you can add to this kit. Any ideas are welcome. Creative criticism, just don't be leaving comments saying, oh, that's shit. Da, 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 da. I don't want to hear that. Come on, guys. Please, I try my best. I am only 19 at the moment, and this is a really, really new subject to me. Um, but thank you. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. This is the end. Goodbye. This is the end.